They, like us, want the truth about Benghazi. A group of 700 retired military, military special operators veterans firing off a letter to Congress today urging them to create a House Select Committee to investigate the terrorist attack in Libya on September the 11th of 2012. Retired U.S. Air Force Colonel Dick Brower is founder of Special Operations Speaks, the organization behind the letter. Uh, Colonel, first off, why now? This happened uh, six, seven months ago. Because, uh, Brian, this has been uh, slow rolled, as we say in the Air Force. Uh, you know, if we wait long enough, maybe it will go away. But we owe the truth to the American people, and particularly the families of the fallen and their, their relatives, such as Pat Smith, the mother of, of Sean Smith and also Dorothy Woods, uh, the wife of, of former SEAL, Tyrone Woods, two of the four brave Americans that were killed in the attack. We still do not have the truth. Mm -hmm. So, Colonel, there were uh, hearings on this, and many people testified, and yet people still walked away feeling like, wow, you know, there's still some central questions that we maybe don't have the answers to. Here's part of the letter that you're sending about the investigation. America has always held to the notion that no American will be left behind, and that every effort will be made to respond when U.S. personnel are threatened. Given our backgrounds, we are concerned that this sends a very negative message to future military and diplomatic personnel. In what way, what are your concerns? Our concerns are that Benghazi, as I like to refer to it, is kind of like being handed a, a jigsaw puzzle in a box without the picture on the box. We have a lot of, a lot of uh, pieces out there with some facts that are coming in, some that we still have no answers for. Our letter also contains, as you've seen, about 16 or 17, just a few of the major questions that have not been answered. I listened to the Senate Armed Services Committee hearing and the hearing with uh, Hillary Clinton, a love fest uh, for the 2016 election, and key questions were not asked and many were not answered. And Special Operations Speaks on behalf of General, Lieutenant General Jerry Boykin are speaking out and reaching out to veterans across the United States and we had an astounding response right. with 700 uh, special operations veterans from all four services that want to know the answers to these questions as we do. Sure. Colonel, you just mentioned Hillary Clinton. Yesterday on the Sunday chat shows they were, they were speculating when she would announce that she's running for president. I think there are a lot of people who think that uh, by her appearing before that committee that one time she's off the hook. Is she off the hook with your group? Not at all. Uh, not at all. Uh, if you recall, during that hearing, she promised answers to some of the lengthier questions by her compatriots. Uh, and those answers have not been provided. She's walked away from that, and I doubt they ever will be, unless we have uh, an additional hearing and a special investigation. Okay. Uh, this so here, is not so, Watergate. So, Colonel, here are some of the questions that you feel have not been answered. Why was there no military response to the events in Benghazi? Were military assets in the region available? If so, were they alerted? Were assets deployed to any location in preparation for a rescue or recovery attempt? How many U.S. personnel were injured in Benghazi? What if any non-military assistance was provided during the attack? And that's just five or six questions. You have 16 to 20 questions. Do you think you're going to actually get these answers? I think the truth, the answers are out there. We just haven't uh, rolled over the right rocks. For instance, uh, once the ambassador pressed the button, uh, within an hour, Everyone was alerted. I count 12 to 16 command centers within the intelligence community and the Department of Defense where people were leaning forward in the saddle, getting ready to go as special operations have rehearsed for uh, throughout their career. Uh, the Sante, some of the signers of our, our 700, our soft 700, are uh, veterans of rescue operations such as the Sante prison camp raid in Vietnam and Desert One that I'm intimately familiar. Uh, we lost people in those, but Special Operations leans forward in the saddle, never leaves our people behind, and that sends a message to the American people and our military forces that we have their back, we, we have their six o'clock, as our aviator friends would say. Sure, and, and the message that was sent to Special Operators on September the 11th of last year was, yeah, you can go in there and we might leave you behind. Exactly right. And the re why, why were they left behind? Was right. it a political why? reason? Uh, why? We want to know that and we feel that a dedicated hearing under H.R. 36 would allow the questions, the yes or no questions that were asked by Kelly Ayotte during the uh, Senator Ayotte during the Senate Armed Services Committee where we found out 
many months afterwards that the president walked away that night and went to bed. Uh, it's kind of astounding right. for a commander in chief to do that. Well, he had as to, well as he had to get up early because he had to go to Las Vegas the next day. Fundraiser, exactly for a fundraiser. Raiser. So, was this a political decision? Whoever gave the order to stand down, and that order was heard. Stand down, meaning lip, military, do nothing. Uh, sentence four people to death. Sure, we we know everything there was uh, to know about what happened with, on the Bin Laden raid in Abbottabad. We know so little about this. Good luck to you and your group. I know that uh, this channel's been trying to get some answers as well. We hope you do, too. Thank you, we, we have a website, if I might, uh, sure. www.specialoperationspeaks.com, and there is a three-minute video there that's called Our Five L's, Leaks, Lies, Libya, and Lack of Leadership. And that still is true today from the day we made it. And there is also another website uh, available uh, where you can go and see uh, you know www, do, www yeah, we, we, and the cover up com and the cover up okay and we can put it on foxandfriends.com all right thanks thank Colonel. you Colonel. <laughs>